Hello, YouTubers. Um, I'm starting a new project today on my bike. Uh, I'm finally going to do the uh, external breathers on my bike. I have the SNS air cleaner, uh, and it's a little bit trickier because the breather bolts go directly without any tubing into the backing plate of the cleaner. And so the fumes go straight from the breather bolts into the cleaner, uh, into, the, into the engine. So there is some ways to do it. Uh, there, some people are recommending to actually plug the conduit, the backing plate, uh, but I think that's a, a little too much uh, trouble. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same uh, breather bolts that my bike originally had, you know, the, the, the original bolts, and I'll show you right now. And that way, I think it'll be a little bit easier and cleaner. The things that I'm going to use to do this installation, uh, first, of course, you have, uh, instead of using a, a catch can, I'm going to use, um, a filter. These are the bolts that I was talking about, the two uh, original breather bolts, uh, some clamps, uh, a Y connector so I can connect the, the tubing, which is right here. This is a quarter inch uh, gas line type tubing and some, um, some hose clamps. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm going to use the original breather hoses that were in, the, in my bike original, but I, I'm, I cut them uh, I cut the ends of it and stuck a little tubing in it so I can connect it. So it'll be a nice nice and clean installation with uh, a 90 degree uh, drop from the breather bolts. And here's the detail of what I was talking about. This is the SNS cleaner, uh, air cleaner, uh, which is very nice. I, I really like it. Uh, it really improved uh, my intake uh, by a lot. Uh, but this is what we were talking about. The, the <clears throat> these are the original, these are the original bolts uh, that came with the with this filter. Uh, so they install, they install right here, and through this little hole, through this little hole right there, uh, the air and 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 use uh, uh, oil will go through these little holes and straight into the intake. So I'm going to modify that by using my own, my own bolt. I'm going to use uh, this guys over here and connect it down over here. So we'll see how that works. All right, so first I'm going to install the, the two breather bolts, uh, which they get uh, torque uh, 24, uh, foot pounds. I'm gonna put a little bit of um, thread locker on them and go from there.
Next, I'm going to install the two uh, 90 degree original hoses that I cut out. So that's one right there. And got the other one is right here. And the extensions. I'm going to put a little clamp right at the joint of it, not because anything, but just want to make sure that it's not gonna it's not gonna slip out. Uh, goes in pretty tight anyway. <clears throat> I'm hide it in the back like that. The same thing for the other side. Put the back on first. <clears throat> Turn it to the other side. I'm gonna put another clamp on the on the top so I don't have any issues. better. Yeah. Same thing for this one. Hide it and hide it. All right. All right. So now this is going to come in here with the little wide uh, that I have. So I need to be able to cut it. This is the guy I want it to be like right here. Yeah. I'm gonna cut this guy over here, maybe right there. This one definitely doesn't need any clumps because it's really, really tight. Now this one, I'm gonna cut it right over here. Right there. Perfect. Perfect right there. Right there. Well, this came out a little bit. I need to cut it a little bit more. 
So this going to be here. I want it to be oh yeah, quite a lot more. Right there. It's better to cut than to have to add. There we go. Better. Oh, it's still a little bit off. It's still a little bit off. Kind of want it to be kind of straight in. Hmm. Even with that, I'm gonna have a hard time. It needs to go up quite a bit more. Okay. Three quarters of an inch or so. Hopefully that will take care of it. <coughs> well, that's much better, right? And then this guy. Hmm, what am I gonna do this? The problem here is that this this hose is much thicker. I think this is uh, uh, if this is a quarter, this is like three eighths, I think, and that's the intake of the filter. So I need to put one that will go in here like this, all the way and you know, all the way in. Kind of a Mickey Mouse fix, but see any other way about it. Um, let's see. Okay, so this one is going to go all the way up, right? Once it's in, right? Yeah. Yeah, could work. drop of oil in it and then cut it a little bit more. See if I can persuade it to go in. Mm. Nope. I'm gonna have to do it outside. Mm. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's not bad. Eventually I'm gonna change this and I'm gonna put a catch can because I'm afraid that this is gonna be a little messy, maybe, oil-wise. So I'm, I'll test it, I'll, we'll see. We'll see what I do with that. Okay, so now I just have to put back the filter. And that's it. The filter back on.
I don't want to over tie these balls too much because they're easy to strip. Um, the only other thing that I was thinking of doing was to put uh, the original uh, air filter cover on it. I mean, I'll show you. It doesn't look bad, bad but it doesn't. Where did I put it? Right here. But it doesn't have a real good way to stay there and so that's um let me show you how this will look so this will look like this and it will completely uh completely finish the installation um you still get all the air in it um but let me show you my my problem with this it might be all in my head i don't know Try it out. Okay, so now it's on. Well, I mean, it, it looks good. I, I thought it was going to move, but no, it doesn't. It, 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 you know. What do you think? I don't know. Should I should I put it on or should I uh, just keep it um, to the air? Uh, I kind of like it. I kind of like it like this, and it kind of hides everything else. The only thing you see is this, but from eye level, you, you won't be able to see anything. And I think it, it has a lot of a lot of room for the air to come in. Um, I don't know. Let me let me know. Let me know what you guys think. I kind of like it. Well, that's it. That ends the job. Um, I thought it was, uh, it came out fairly easy to do and I'm kind of looking forward to to uh, ride the bike and see if there's any, any difference. I thought the job was easy. I struggled with this thing for, for months, looking at different videos of uh, people doing, doing it different ways and spending a lot of money on it. I really didn't spend that much money at all. Just just a little bit on the tubing and, and the adapter and, and of course the filter, which wasn't that big deal. Um, I, I am going to check the inside of my cylinders and cylinder heads, uh, you know, the, the pistons. I want to see how much uh, carbon is in there. I have a, a little scope um, that it would allow me to see hopefully what, what's in there. And if I don't know if I can do a video of it, if I can, I'm, I'm going to share it. Uh, and then maybe a few thousand miles down the road, we'll check it again and see if there's any difference. If uh, I, I, I heard somewhere that um, if you stop putting dirty oil, uh, eventually the carbon that is already built up, you know, kind of will burn, burn away, burn off. I mean, I have, 50,000 miles worth of stuff in there. So I don't know that that's going to happen. All right. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Please uh, like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you next video.